everyone. So I am just doing my first ever Sunday meal prep and I thought I'd share with you what I've done. Um, so I'm hoping this is going to carry me through for the week, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. We'll see. <clears throat> so I started with breakfast. What I've done is I prepared, I just boiled up some eggs um, in here, set ready to go and peel. So those can be sliced onto some toast and avocado. Um, and I have made my more of my cashew hollandaise. So this is done with raw, raw cashews um, and uh, it's really nice and creamy. Um, again, I use the lemon dilly because it, it's just so good with the lemon dilly. I like that flavor a lot, but I am going to try it with three onion and the CCC, CCC um, as alternate flavors for the holidays. Um, so I'll let you know what I think of those. So that is one of the possible breakfasts. I can also um, obviously peel those eggs, put them into a salad, um, you know, like a salad nissoise style with some canned tuna perhaps. Um, I made some chia puddings. Uh, my lovely friend Renee brought some of these over for me not that long ago. And when she did, I realized I've kind of forgotten about them. So I've made these with coconut, um, canned coconut milk, the one with the like really dense cream in it because um, coconut milk has those good healthy fats for you. So um, I'm trying to make sure each meal has some carbs some fats, some protein, and of course, lots of fruit and veg. Um, so that is, uh, I've made four of those. And what I did to flavor them is I put in some of this baked apple. So the baked apple is, um, a sweet dip mix um, and it is uh, something you can put it into pancake waffle and muffins um, you can make a simple dip out of it I've thrown this into so many different things I actually feel like this might not be available right now though um, but of course you could throw any of our sweet dip mixes in there you could put in the summer berry you could put in um, the cocoa crunch you could put in um, our whole food toppers the tutti frutti um, but I wanted apple because I was going to cut up some apples and actually I'm going to use them like instead of a spoon to eat this, I'm going to dip apples in and almost eat it like a dip. So that's going to be some breakfast and or snacks depending on how my day is going. The next thing I'm going to show you is the veg. I just uh, chopped up some um, broccoli and sweet potatoes and I used two different seasonings on those. So the broccoli, I used uh, the teriyaki and I just made that with some soy sauce and what else was in there, olive oil. Um, and then I just kind of drizzled it over top. And then on the other side, I put the Montreal chicken spice um, on the sweet potatoes. And I'll explain why I chose those particular ones. But with that, I added lemon juice and oil. So I drizzled that on this side. Uh, the flavors kind of blended in the middle while it was baking, but I think it's gonna be okay. So I did those two flavors because I also did chicken and tofu. And the chicken, I have used the Montreal chicken spice on, the Montreal chicken seasoning on, and I did it as a dry rub. I didn't add anything to it, but just put it straight on, baked it in the oven for about 12 minutes, and then I've just put them into here. So that's two chicken breasts, which I can cut up, and um, my goal is to use a lot of this stuff to put it into like um, a nourish bowl. So if you, if you know like what I mean by a nourish bowl, and I'm not sure how close that is, but here are these kind of bowls where you've got your lettuce and you've got your grains, and you've got your veg and you've got uh, your healthy fats and then some dressing. So that's kind of my goal for most of these is to do them as a lunch or dinner as a nourish bowl. But of course, there's lots of different ways I'll be able to use all this stuff. Then I took some tofu and I just cubed it up and put it um, onto our quarter sheet pan with uh, the teriyaki as well. So the chicken is going to go really well with the sweet potato. The, um, the tofu is going to go really well with the broccoli. And um, I also prep stuff to go into salads. So whether I'm putting this onto a nourish bowl style salad or whether I'm doing it um, as my meal in another way, um, I'm prepping up some things like chickpeas into these little uh, really quick, convenient, they just get them out of the can, getting them ready. And these are our prep bowls, as you know, you've heard me talk about them probably a million times. I'm obsessed with them. Um, I also made up about, I don't know, this is about half a cup of dressing and I wanted to do a balsamic because I figured that would go with lots of the, the flavors. Um, so I've used some olive oil and some really nice, um, really high quality uh, balsamic vinegar that I had, someone had given me. It's beautiful. It's so good. That's why I think it's this really rich, dark color. Um, so this is the balsamic vinaigrette. 
um, dressing mix and this contains garlic, sea salt, herbs, spices, lemon, and chives. You add it to your olive oil and your vinegar. Um, you can also add some Dijon to create more like a, of a creamy balsamic. Um, and you can toss this even into green beans and tomatoes to make like a little green bean tomato kind of um, seasoning. And so that is going to be kind of the bulk of the meals that I'm going to make this week. And then the last thing I made, oh, no, I have something else. I have rice, which I actually need to check on because it's still cooking. Oh, yeah, that's what we've done. Um, so in the larger pot here, so we have the two sizes. Uh, this is the eight cup. This is the 12. These are, um, they've got their measures on the side, a pour spout. They're just very clever, a glass lid, um, and I love them. And the glass lid actually has two size strainers in it. So these, I'm um, also, I use these all the time. I absolutely love them. So I've got rice in here. I've got like a wild mixed um, Bundaberg and wild rice and brown rice. Um, and I've seasoned it up with a little bit of um, um, uh, bouillon, uh, but the Epicure has one. I'm blanking on what we call this. Um, <laughs> there's chicken, there's vegetable, there's beef. Um, and it's when you're making your, your um, well, you guys, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So I add a little bit of that into the water to give the rice a little bit of flavor. So some of these, obviously, they're going to be these nourish bowls, or some of it might be just some chicken on rice with the sweet potato or on a salad. So my goal is to make sure I've got those. This is your, my fats here in the salad dressings, some of the oils that I've mixed with these different uh, seasonings. I've got my fats in the coconut here. I've got lovely flavors. Um, I've got my proteins ready to go for each meal. And the last thing I did was make a little sweet treat. So um, as you know, the banana bread is absolutely killer. Um, I talk about it all the time. It's one of the best products, uh, particularly as a baked good that I've had like in general for a gluten-free mix. So absolutely love this. What I did with this one is just to bulk up the fiber in it. It's a shredded zucchini into it. Um, and I know um, some people have experimented with this and I've talked about it before too. You can use zucchini in replace of oil. Um, so I actually did put a little bit of oil in there because I only had half a zucchini, so that I cut the oil content in half. Um, so, and then I also had a pear that was overripe. So I threw that in with the bananas. So we'll see what this tastes like, but um, basically I've made kind of a banana pear, uh, banana bread with zucchini in it. <laughs> Um, and then I did put a few chocolate chips on the top just to give a little bit of sweetness there too. And so the kids will get excited about those. Anyway, that is my Sunday meal prep. Please let me know what you guys think. What I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of doing these on a regular basis on Sundays and maybe doing it live. So letting you know it's, I'm going to do it. Maybe we could even look at if people are into it. I could talk about, um, what I'm going to do and people could meal, we could meal prep together. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Put some comments in for me, please. So if you actually did watch this all the way to the end, I'd love to know if you would be interested in doing Sunday meal prep with me or interested in seeing what I'm doing for Sunday meal prep. I'm totally excited about this. I want this to be my new thing because I am really working on eating much more healthily, making sure that I'm hitting all meals, um, which I don't always do. I've skipped breakfast for many years. Um, and hitting those, all the food groups at every meal, particularly making sure getting in protein and healthy fats, um, along with those veggies and carbs, which carbs, obviously it's easy for me to have those. Anyway, have an amazing week, you guys. Um, thank you for watching and, uh, we'll see you later.